On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, I give you guys my top five bourbons for dad on Father's Day. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance, and I wasn't going to shoot this video, but when I woke up this morning, I had probably 20 messages of friends asking what to buy their dad, what bourbon to buy their dad on Father's Day. So here we are. I thought I would make a quick video to answer your guys' questions because in the world of bourbon, especially if you have a dad that's a bourbon aficionado or who really loves bourbon, finding the perfect bourbon for him as a gift for Father's Day is near impossible. The popularity of bourbon is growing. There are so many distilleries. There are so many options on the shelves. It's just near impossible to walk into a liquor store and know what to get your dad. Not only that, but the bourbon your dad is probably chasing isn't on the shelves. Store owners put a lot of the highly sought after bourbons in the back room or behind the counter to keep those from flippers. Flippers are people who go in, buy really hard to find bourbons, and then sell them for two, three, four times MSRP on the secondary market. So that makes things really hard. You walk into a liquor store, you have a lot of choices. What your dad wants probably isn't on the shelves. And what's on the shelves, your dad probably isn't chasing. So how in the world do you get your dad the perfect bourbon on Father's Day? Well, hopefully I can help you guys out with that. Before we get into my top five bourbons and a bonus bourbon, I wanted to tell you guys, you can also help support the channel by going to whiskeytornado.com, buying Whiskey Tornado shirts. We even have uh, Cheers Bitches shirts which have been selling like crazy. So thank you to everyone who is supporting the channel. Really appreciate you guys. All right, let's get into these top five bourbons that are available and affordable uh, for your dad on Father's Day. These bottles are in no particular order, but first on the list of bourbons to buy your dad on Father's Day is Woodford Double Oaked. This had a second maturation process in new American oak, and it has wonderful flavors of s'mores, marshmallow, cocoa. It is so good. It is always available. It comes in at around $50. Um, just one of my favorite bourbons that is always on the shelves. Super affordable, super available. Um, I have a lot of bourbon in my collection, and if I got a bottle of Woodford Double Oaked, I would always be happy because this is just a winner every time I open it. Super consistent flavors, really, really good, um, and at a reasonable proof, 90.4 proof. Any bourbon aficionado probably has this on their shelves um, and would be happy to have more. My second favorite choice for bourbons to get your dad on Father's Day is any store pick. Store picks are so amazing because they're unique. Typically what happens in a, for a bourbon, let's take Elijah Craig for example. Uh, Elijah Craig will take a bunch of barrels, mix them together to achieve a certain profile and they have a batch of bourbon. When you do a store pick, a store goes to a distillery, tastes several different barrels and decides which barrel they like best and then they bottle that. Now the flavor of a, from barrel to barrel isn't uh, significantly different, but it's 10 to 20% different. And you know when you get a store pick, that's a one-of-a-kind flavor, and you're never going to duplicate that again. So getting a store pick is fantastic. This is a uh, Elijah Craig store pick from A1 Liquors. I've had several different Elijah Craig picks from A1, and there are 10 to 15% differences in flavor profile from the normal Elijah Craig small batch. So if I get a store pick, I'm super excited because I know I'm getting a unique experience that I can't duplicate. Another thing that makes store picks great is they put, you know, little fiddly bits on there or stickers to, to indicate um, what the flavor profile it is. So I've also got a Woodford Double Oaked store pick here from A1 that's called Christmas Cocoa. Um, and it's got Merry Christmas Barrel Was Full. Uh, sticker on the back. So it can be a lot of fun and bring something unique that you can't normally find. All right, next on my list of top five bourbons to buy dad on Father's Day is Maker's 46. This particular bottle happens to be Maker's 46 cash strength, so it's a little higher proof. But Maker's Mark is just a staple in bourbon. Everyone loves it. It's got It's a weeded bourbon, meaning the secondary grain is wheat. 
um, rather than rye. So it's a little bit rounder, sweeter, has some cherry notes in there. Makers 46, they use staves. They put the staves in the barrel um, and it just imparts a beautiful flavor. Makers 46 is my favorite Makers product. Uh, Makers 46, cash strength even better. But you can buy this bottle for about $34. All right, next on my list of top five bourbons for dad on Father's Day comes to us from Bardstown Bourbon Company. This is Bardstown Fusion Series. Um, Bardstown is a younger distillery that is doing a wonderful job of blending their younger distillate with some older sourced bourbon from other companies. So this particular um, bourbon, they're really transparent on the back of the label. This is Fusion Series 4. Um, they're blending 40% of this is a 13 year Kentucky bourbon. And then the other uh, 60% is Bardstown bourbon. So it's their younger distillate. So they have a three year mash bill in here, uh, actually two three year mash bills and a four year mixed with 13 year. So it's really interesting to see a younger distillery blend their new, their new distillate with some older distillate to create a wonderful blended bourbon. Um, higher end bourbon that uh, your dad would love to have. It's really cool to collect these, I think, as the distillery gets older and older to see where their bourbon is is headed towards. All right, next on the list of bourbons to buy your dad on Father's Day comes to us from Virginia, and it is Isaac Bowman. Uh, this is a fantastic bottle. This particular bottle is port barrel finished, but any of the Isaac Bowmans you could go for for your dad. The interesting thing about Isaac Bowman is this is, in essence, Buffalo Trace distillate. Uh, Buffalo Trace di sells their distillate to Isaac Bowman and then they age it in Virginia. Now, for those of you that don't know, the bourbon made at Buffalo Trace is some of the most sought after bourbon and hard to find bourbon on the market. So if you can't find a Buffalo Trace product like E.H. Taylor, Eagle Rare or Blanton's or Elmer T. Lee or Weller, then this is the next best thing. Um, if your dad gets a bottle of this and doesn't know, he'll be super excited to learn that this is in essence Buffalo Trace distillate. Um, and I have the port barrel finish. I think this is about $40. My wife actually got this for me for Christmas, had no idea what it was. She did a really good job of picking a bottle. Um, I love this bottle. It's a little bit lower proof, but this bottle I've said in many episodes before goes really good with a steak. So, um, if you, if you're looking for a good bottle for dad and you can't find the Buffalo Trace products that are so hard to come by nowadays, go look for Isaac Bowman. All right, so up until this point, I have given you guys five bourbons that are readily available and affordable for your dad on Father's Day, but I wanted to give you a six. This is a bonus one. It's a little bit more expensive. It comes in around $80, but it's a bourbon that sits on the shelves that people don't chase that they will absolutely love. For those of you that don't know much about bourbon, there's a company that makes bourbon out of Indiana called MGP. It is some of the most sought after juice when it is sourced and bottled in other brands. Now, MGP also bottles their own juice. They're just not very good at marketing. And that juice is called Remus Repeal Reserve. And they have a different batch every year. This happens to be batch four, which is really fantastic. They're super transparent about what it is. This is 77% uh, of a 2008 bourbon. That's 21% rye and 23% of a 2008 bourbon that's 36% rye. So you're getting a 12 year MGP bourbon for $80. Um, a 12-year MGP bourbon and on another label can go for three, four hundred dollars easily. And this stuff is fantastic. You have to believe that if MGP is bottling their own stuff, they're picking a lot of their honey barrels. And the blending that they're doing at MGP is just fantastic. Uh, Repeal Reserve 3 and this Repeal Reserve 4 have been some of my favorite bourbons. In fact, this was in the running of my bourbon of the year last year. Um, so really good stuff. It just sits on the shelf. So if you want to spring for that extra $30, go over that $50 mark for your dad. This is a fantastic bottle that you can find that's sitting on the shelves that store owners aren't going to tuck away and hide from you. All right, guys. So there you have it. The perfect top five bourbons for your dad that are available and affordable. 
Hopefully I helped you navigate the stores, what's on the shelf. Hopefully I helped you find a perfect bourbon for your dad on Father's Day. To all you dads out there, happy Father's Day. Um, I'm sad my dad's no longer alive, but I'm super happy to be a dad of a 18 and 16 year old, both beautiful girls. There is nothing that makes me happier uh, than being a dad. It's, it's the joy of my life. So cheers to all you dads out there. Hope you have a wonderful Father's Day. Uh, for those of you watching this to get the perfect gift for your dad, I hope this helped. Love you guys very much. Thanks for all the support and we will see you next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you.